Do you like to judge people based on their looks? Because that's what we're going to do today. Because today we're watching a Jubilee video called Rank 5 Men by Their Attractiveness. Let's go. Are you guys ready to rank with me? Because I'm ready to rank them. Let's see who's hot and who's not. Excuse me while I itch my eye. All right, here we are. They brought five men together to be ranked by their attractiveness. Hey guys. I feel like I feel like I have a probably a strange taste in men. I feel like I usually end up liking weird guys. Um, so I wonder how these other people are going to rank these men. A little nervous? Definitely a little nervous. No, God no, I'm so stoked. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be nervous. Alright, okay guys. I say the one that's in the middle. Unfortunately, is like he is fine. Top. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. So they're just gonna be talking in front of these guys about them. What if they're secretly able to hear through those headphones? That would be super awkward. Like if I was that man or any of those men, I would definitely have my headphone like slightly like slightly ajar, like slightly like this, like oh. You know, maybe I'll have it, like, not even over my... Like, the guy with the long hair, this guy right here with the long hair, he could totally be not having his headphones over his ears at all. Like, his hair is covering his ears, so you can't even tell. He's probably secretly listening. Awkward. We'll start talking. Also, I love this girl's yeah. outfit, the girl with the skirt and the crop top. Uh, yeah. So why, why did you put him first? I feel like I saw his smile. He said, uh, yeah, I think you're going to find me attractive. Okay, you cocky boy. <laughs> so cocky. I love her outfit. Look at it. I love it. He has, like, really nice hair, and he's tan. They said that they like him because he's tall. <laughs> They're like, well, he's tall. So, yeah, he's tall. <laughs> R poor short guys. I'm sorry, my short boys. Um, definitely someone who's tall, taller than me. That's for sure. Definitely good teeth. Says a lot about personal hygiene. If it looks like you haven't brushed your hair in a day or two. Someone with bad hygiene. That's just immediately you don't take care of yourself, and I don't want to be near you. I like smiles. I like eyes and energy. Maybe like demeanor, like how they're standing. I think blue shirt needs to be second, or I agree. because I agree. his his face is really symmetrical. I, yeah. Oh yeah, blue shirt guy. Damn, blue shirt guy is beautiful. Did you see those light colored eyes? I mean, look at that. Really symmetrical. Look at his beautiful eyes and his strong jawline. And I like the way the color blue looks on him. Yeah. yeah. I like the eyes. Yeah. Second. Yep. Let me just see. Yep. Yep. Okay, this one. They can obviously hear. Oh my gosh, he totally. They can totally hear these girls through their headphones for being like, you second. And he like, he, I don't know. I feel like he hear, I feel like they can hear the girls. I feel like these guys are probably able to hear these girls. Yeah, he's like unbothered. I really like him. Look at his shirt, guys. <laughs> yeah. He's obviously, obviously that's the stoner man. You know, I have a soft spot for stoners, as you probably know if you watch my Twitch stream. I too am a stoner. So... I do have a soft spot for those kinds of boys. Yeah. It's giving Shaggy from Scooby. Oh, I really like Look at the chain, that. too. Jack is so giving. Yeah. Like, Jack is giving. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got, like, a pretty nice face. Like, my nose is really, like, everyone says I got a cute nose. I like this dude. He's quiet, and he's here. Yeah. He's just, that's I, true. That's, that's, is one of that's my favorite. That's my favorite type of people. I would say. He's just like, all right, let me just look around. I like how he just stood there with a really blank face and started looking around. I wonder if that guy is actually not listening at all or paying attention at all. Or maybe he's just trying to pretend like he's not hearing. Because I feel like those headphones are probably not enough to not be able to hear, I feel like. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they really can't hear at all, but I don't, I don't know. That, like, I'm very middle of the road here. I am the only short hair white guy, so that's like going to set me out of the group. It's like, oh, the, oh, look, vanilla ice cream right there. I feel like we could leave them how they are. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like that guy's handsome. I would say he's pretty attractive. You know, he's got a handsome face. I kind of like the blink face, like the blink stare look that he was giving earlier. I don't know. I like that blink stare look. Uh, oh, but then oh, but he but wait, so he laughed. He's so cute. This is hard because I feel like Andros is so sweet. Like, I just want to protect him. Like, he yeah, looks like a baby that, yeah. like, I feel like, I don't know. Okay, let's. Yeah. Yeah, the Asian boy is cute. I do like Asian boys. I ain't even gonna lie, I find Asian boys to be hot. Yeah, they're cute. Try to switch this one and this one, see how that looks. Which yeah. one, which one? You, green shirt, to the end. Let's see how that looks, and you switch. Yeah. Let, yeah. How do you guys feel about that? Because style. Um, I, I think Andros is second for me. Yeah. I'll say it again. Yeah, yeah honestly, so. yeah. Ooh, that looked. Oh, wait, wait, second. Wait, like no, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. reverse. No, no. Yeah. oh, you guys meant oh, that wait, way. Oh, oh yeah, I meant the reverse. Oh. For me, blue shirt guy is definitely number one. Or maybe number two. I don't know. I don't know. So you should we keep him in the middle? Wait, should we keep him in the middle? Like, yeah, let's keep yeah, him in the okay, middle. It's, it's a happy. It's yeah, getting average. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I think just like. And also, as you can see, look here. Okay. Tall boy, short, medium, short, tall. You see that? It's not everything to be tall. That boy is tall and he's labeled least attractive. And he's the tallest guy here. One of the two tallest guys here. They're, these two are like the same height. They're gunning for the same height, tallness, you know? And this guy is the shortest guy. And he's not last. And this guy is the second shortest guy. And he's second. This The shortest guy is second to last, so I mean... But then the second shortest guy is second to first, you know? And then this really tall guy is last. Oh my gosh, see, it's not everything to be tall, okay? You can be short and still get pussy, okay? Don't blame it all on your height, okay? Because you know what? Short guys get pussy too. How did you feel during the physical round? Uh, I loved it. I love when people are judging me. It made me feel good. <laughs> Even though I wasn't at the top, it was just like, yeah, they get to look at me. It was honestly good for them. They got to look at some beauty over here. That man's got some personality. Was he? Okay, you know what? I like that guy. <laughs> I do. He looks like an absolute mess, though. To be honest, he looks like a mess. But I fuck with it. I like his personality. Although, I would get friend. I would, I would label him as a friend, you know? But I do like his personality. I would totally toke it up with him. I bet he likes going to music festivals or something. He looks like it. Um, but the fact that he stood there and said, oh, I love getting judged. Was that sarcastic? Or does he really like to be getting judged like that? It, like, why are you acting like you enjoyed being judged so much? Damn, he must have some kind of voyeur kink or like some kind of like, ooh, this is a kink for me to get judged pe by people. Yeah, judge me some more. I don't know. It's probably not a kink. It's just, you know, these days everything is a kink, you know? Women will now evaluate the men's overall attractiveness. Can everyone introduce themselves, name and what you do? Yeah. Uh, I'm Kai and I model. I'm wet. I guess not only did they have the headphones on, but they also had earbuds in, so I guess maybe it was also playing really loud music. If that's the case, then I guess maybe none of them were able to hear, but... Yes, I'm a student and model. I'm Andros and I... A student and a model. Hell yeah, with that sharp jawline and those beautiful light-colored eyes. Yeah, he's definitely attractive. I run a tech company. Is that an accent? Is that an accent? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think it is? I have no idea, but I like it. <laughs> I'm Jack, I'm an actor and I coach volleyball. I'm Nick, I'm a pin. Jack is an actor and a volleyball coach. Damn, I wonder where he's been acting. Painter and a, I make furniture. Cool. Oh, he's a oh wow. Very cool. The last guy is a painter. Aw, I love art. You see, I, I like that last guy, the guy that was labeled the last, the guy that was very last for attractiveness, I actually find him very cute and sweet, and he's an artsy type, and that, I love artsy types. So, I definitely would not have labeled him last personally. What are you looking for in a man personality-wise? Um, someone who's confident, just like someone who knows who they are. I'm very attracted to humor. Humor, that's 100%. I like someone who's funny and who can take a joke because like, I've had experiences with super serious men 
who just, they take everything personal. If I hear any sort of bragging or any sort of, I've got this, I made more than I don't want it, I already stopped listening. Someone who's cocky, um, I think it's important to be confident, but it's very, there's a very clear distinction between the two. I absolutely hate cocky boys. Like, stop being so cocky. Humble yourself. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Oh, I made this much money this month. Okay, good for you. Okay, stop bragging to me because I don't give a fuck. What's everybody's favorite movie? Everything, everywhere, all at once. <gasps> okay, that's a really good one. one. Tears of the Sun. Okay. Tears of the Sun? I've never heard that, but that sounds very dark. My favorite movie is The Moulin Rouge. It's really good. Okay. It's about um, the war in Africa, how African nations go against each other, and um, oh, wow. U.S. forces went over to save um, some, um, I think it was a princess who working. That's a really deep one. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> he seemed like he was very nervous. That nervous energy was a little bit off-putting, so that energy just didn't match. I would say Aww, Game of Death is like an old nervous. Bruce Lee movie. It's like the first movie I ever saw. Uh, I'm sure all of them are low-key a little nervous. Oh, I feel bad whenever guys get all nervous. I'm like, oh, poor guy. My dad. Oh, wow. I really like the SpongeBob movie. <laughs> <laughs> I watch that like every month. Oh my god. This man is such a fucking stoner, bro. I can see myself being best friends with this man, but we would keep it in the friend zone probably, yeah. But damn, he's a stoner, bro. I'm trying to be friends with him, the fuck? Best buddies, best friends should stick together. <laughs> Uh, Drive. That's also a good movie. That's okay. good. Okay. I'm gonna be that person. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Okay. Mm. I'm a Cancer. Damn. Of course I like him. I don't know what it is with me and Libras. I always end up dating Libras. Okay, I'm not really a zodiac person. I don't follow zodiacs. I don't know shit about zodiacs. All I know is that I'm a Sagittarius and I always end up dating Libras. That's all I know. It's some kind of weird coincidence. I'm destined to be with a Libra or something. And this tall boy that I seem to be liking for whatever reason when nobody else likes him, everybody else has him as the least attractive guy. This guy right here. Everyone's like, he's least attractive, but me, no. I'm uh, Aries, Sun, Sag, Moon, Taurus, Rising. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, I'm Sagittarius, but my sister knows all the other stuff, the Rising. Mm. It's all my fault. Once you but... said Sagittarius, I was good. <laughs> oh, you call him Sagittarius. You hate on fire <laughs> She's hating on Saggies. That's me, girl. What you got against fire signs? Kidding. That was crazy. Uh, I'm an Aquarius. Oh. And I think I have like Gemini somewhere or okay. Libra. Should we have something deeper? Like, should we go deep? When's the last time you cried? Yeah. I was watching a medication commercial for <laughs> uh, like back pain, and this woman was like in a hospital bed. I was like, fuck. This is so <laughs> sad. Oh my God. Yeah, so I. Okay, this Nick person, this boy Nick is kind of winning my heart <laughs> a little bit. He's so plain though. He's like a very plain looking man. I'm not gonna lie. He's very plain. But I don't know. I like his energy. <laughs> I cry at commercials and yeah. Last time I cried was Marley and me. Oh, I can't do that. If I ever see a I'm complete. Uh, I watched this film called Past Lives recently, yes. and it's, yeah, I cried at the end scene. It was, it was, it was crazy. Now we have to watch it. Yeah, oh. you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to cry now? No, I lost my best friend this year, so it's still been a hard thing for me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Like you made me think about it. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. actually started crying in front of them that means that he's like in tune with his emotions like he's not afraid to show other people his emotions i mean obviously he's probably trying to hold it in but oh my god oh poor guy oh, oh i need to give him a hug a virtual hug Oh, where you? Oh. Can we give him a hug? Wait, yeah. is that allowed? Can we get, give him a group hug? Oh my gosh. Oh, group hug? I'm so sorry. Oh, so oh, oh, it's hard. I'm not going to joke. That was my brother. Oh.
Damn, whose question was that? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> And you? Oh, mine was like, I think last week. I think it was at the movies. I was watching a movie. Okay. Well, movie? Which one? The stupidest reason. It's Blue Beetle. It had something to do with family. Oh. And I just made me cry <laughs> so hard. That makes sense. I was like, damn. And I cried like three times in that movie, I think. <laughs> I just respect them. <laughs> okay, what's your, um, what's your buddy count? Okay, blue shirt guy is definitely the hottest guy. But for some reason, I also really like Nick. Yeah, those are my top two. Blue shirt guy and Nick. I don't know who I'd put as number one. Because my heart just melt for the crying from Blue Shirt Guy. Oh. Oh. Okay. I count. Oh, me. <laughs> my mom's, my mom's gonna, gonna watch this. Yeah. 13. Okay. Not bad. Oh, I think 10. Okay. I think I'd, you know, I don't want to think of each one as like a number. So, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna, it's yeah. not gonna answer that question. Yeah. I want to keep that private. Pee back off his answer, and I lost track. He wants to keep that private, eh? I wonder if he's just saying that because he's had so much vagina that he just can't keep count. So he's like, I'm gonna just keep that quiet. Or maybe he's only had like one or two girls, and so he's embarrassed to say that it's only been one or two girls. It could have go either way. Either he's been swimming in pussy to the point where he can't even count them all, or he's embarrassed to say that he's only been with one or two girls. I'm going to say that he's been swimming in pussy. Okay. <sighs> Lost Shag is a crazy response. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I didn't, I never, I never, I never, I never counted this. So I never kept, like, he's like, the much we said, I never kept track of this. So at the point, I never actually was counting in my head. So at the point, I was like, in my head, mentally, now I'm counting, like, okay. That's Nick, you've been reacting back there. Been, it's interesting. <laughs> what? What was your reaction when he didn't want to think of everyone as a number? Uh, I would like to ask you when the last time you got tested for anything was. Me? Yeah, just out of safety, dude. Like, keep track. March. 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 Yeah. Okay, there you go. I'm just saying, that's what I thought. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> no, no, sorry. It's, no, people are people and not just numbers, obviously. But yeah. I was just, I'm just saying, like, all right. Yeah, well, that much better. I got to keep track in my head because I forget things all the time. Yeah. So it was a little bit dramatic for me. Um, and that was coming from the quiet guy, so it was just kind of confusing. Um, I'm kind of with that. You should get tested. I mean, I think the delivery kind of came out a little harsh. I didn't mean to impart any judgment upon him for that at all. I was just thinking like, um, it's like, oh, well, I mean, duh, dude, everyone here thinks women are people. Like, I think that's, we all agree, like, no, they're not just numbers, they're not like wins. But if someone's asking you the question, I was thinking like, well, th what's the rough answer? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> totally. Oh, we skipped him. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Um, you don't have to say it. No, actually. I don't really care. It's, it's, I don't care. Uh, like 27, 28. Damn! Okay. Um, who like 27, 28? I mean, that's not really that bad. I mean, honestly, who gives a fuck about body count? Like, why should anyone care about body count, honestly, in my opinion? The only reason why you should care about whether or not someone's had sex with somebody that you're... The only time you should care about who your partner has had sex with before you is if it was right before you and they, like, you know, didn't use a condom and, like, you know. But, like, if that person's having sex with people, like, in other words, don't, if, if you meet somebody and they've had sex with people before you met them, who gives a fuck? That was before you met them, so why are you worried? You didn't even know them back then. Don't be so worried about that shit, okay? That's super old fashioned thinking to be all concerned about body count. Oh yeah, yeah, I would honestly. Yeah, Who I makes more they money? They all better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it, it sometimes depends on who invited who, but most of the time it's like in a heterosexual setting, it's like the guy inviting the girl, so. With Andros, I felt like he had direction in his life. He just screamed provider man mindset, and that's something that I'm very attracted to. What do you feel like is something that you struggle with the most that you're like working towards fixing that has prevented you from like healthy relationships? I can say I lost myself at one point in my life, um, just going through a lot of hardships, especially with my grandma when she died. I just kind of lost myself in the wild, lost myself in the sauce. But I can Aww. definitely say I was toxic to a certain degree a couple years ago. I think mine is more of like... That guy is like giving me, you know, when I first saw him, I wasn't expecting him to be such a sensitive guy, blue shirt guy. 
He's a sensitive man. I love that. I love sensitive people. Like asking for help because I grew up an only child until like maybe a couple years ago. And then also growing up, my mom was always working, so I'd come home alone and do everything myself. Like communication is like my number one factor. If like you can't do that, then there's not going to work here. I think for me, I tend to dedicate a lot of time at work. And so sometimes I think my exes would say that I neglect them or I don't spend enough time with them. And as I'm getting older, I think I'm realizing that, you know, having a healthy relationship actually really helps with your ambitions. You're an Aries. I'm an Aries. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, when I was young, I was like kind of dumb. And I didn't realize talking and doing stuff with other girls was as bad as it like could be, you know? I didn't cheat or anything. Let's calm down. I saw your face. <laughs> but I was just like, just like, you know, like hanging out with girls and not being like vocal about it. I learned that was like pretty bad. And it like, you know, just mess. That would, like, that's what all my exes would say. I don't know. I definitely like, um, I get like pretty bad seasonal depression. And I'm like, I'm going to go. Wait, so. Jack is saying that he was like chilling with other girls like in a sexual way or in a non-sexual way like Okay Okay, then Yeah, when I was in high school, I dated this one guy. He ended up cheating on me a shit ton Like with like multiple different he cheated on me with six different girls. Okay. I found out through Facebook well, actually, the thing is that I kept on forgiving him and taking him back because I was a dummy dumb. But that boy, he loved to just casually hang out with girls and stuff or whatever. <sighs> he wasn't just hanging out with those girls after all. Crawl into a hole and die. Um, and then I'm not really there for everyone in my life. So working on that has been like a big thing. Is everyone here single? I fuck with Nick. You know, I mean, he's, people are like kind of judging, like, you know, he like has an interesting way about himself, like with the, like the way he reacted to the guy that was talking about his body count, this guy or this guy, the way he was like, oh, you should get tested or whatever. And I know people were like judging him for reacting like that. But I know he was trying to say that in a no harm way. He was just saying that kind of like, just expressing what he was thinking, you know, but, um, I don't know, I fuck with Nick. Yes. Yes. For the most part, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna watch no, this. No, she knows. So. I, like, we talk about this. I'm, I communicate these things. Do you guys believe in monogamy? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? All to of you? a certain yeah. extent. I think the, with the way our generation is going, marriage is kind of dying out. You don't need to be married to somebody. It's just like someone that you trust and have a good relationship with that you can build a relationship. And it's like, I do believe in like one person finding another person and they could be together for as long as that happens. And then maybe one day they break up or end things, who knows? It happens, it's realistic. It's just... All right, let's see. Okay, so number one, I said he should be at the front at the beginning. Number two, um, he's very attractive, but he knows it. Number three, funny. I said I like funny guys. Vibed with his looks and his personality and um, his job. Definitely someone I'd actually be interested in getting to know outside of this. I really didn't agree with a lot of his views on stuff, which is fine. Like, you do you. It's just not for me. And then I was just, like, mildly uncomfortable, which is nothing against him. <sighs> yeah. My number one has energy in line with, like, men that I'm usually attracted to. And number two, I really... It's interesting to me that the Asian guy keeps on getting number one and two for people. I don't know. For me, I would put Nick. I think he's very. One. For me, I would put Nick number one, blue shirt guy number two. Yeah. Nick, yeah. Nick number one, blue shirt guy number two. I'd probably put Asian guy number three. Or no, I'd probably put this guy, the tall guy with the curly hair. I'll put him as number three. Asian guy is number four, and then Jack as number five. Jack is definitely friend zoned. Friend zoned as fuck for me. Jack is the sonic guy. My, my image is covering. There we go. Jack is this guy. And then blue shirt guy, obviously, number one. 
Or was it Nick number one? Damn it, Nick and Blue Shirt Guy are a tie for me. I don't know, I can't choose. They're both cool. They both have a certain something that I like about them and I don't really know what it is. But I like them. I guess personality and looks, obviously. Very interesting and cool in a way that's not someone that I would usually be attracted to, but I am. And then the bottom, it's not like I dislike anyone. I just, I'm very disinterested in a lot of people. <laughs> and so I think it's just like, it's just like you guys are cool. So my number one, it's because he's giving a sense of stability. So it's giving like more daddy vibes and I really like that. Um, number two, it's because he just sounds fun and my vibe, so I think we would get along. And number five, it was the exact opposite of why I chose the first one. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I would actually put that guy number five and put the Asian guy number four. Because honestly, this guy, um, Kai, she put Kai as number five, and I honestly would put Kai as number five too. At first I was saying I'd put him as number four and put Jack, the stoner guy, at number five. But actually, I would put Kai at number five because I really don't think that, I just, I don't know. I feel like his personality just, I don't know. He's kind of like a cocky boy. Like, I don't know. He, he seems kind of douchey, in my opinion, just a little bit. <laughs> this one, um, because I can learn a lot from him and I feel like I won't get annoyed. Number two. Damn, everybody is putting the Asian boy at the top. You know, I like Asian boys. I think they're hot. I have a soft spot, but I wouldn't have put him at the top, personally. I mean, I guess I just don't really care about what job, like, I don't really care about whether or not my man makes money because I want to take care of myself and make money for myself. I don't give a fuck if my man is taking care of me or not. I mean, like, it's a plus if they're able to take care of me, you know, like, that's nice. But that's not like a important thing for me, you know? Maybe if I continue being broke for, well, if I stay being broke, maybe in like a couple of years of being perpetually broke, maybe my mind might change, but no. Mm -mm. I mean, I can pay my bills, you know? I mean, I'm pretty broke, but I'm paying my bills. Two. I like the quiet. I like when, you know, men don't have to interject or talk, you know, steal the show. Number four. Um... She doesn't like when men talk. <laughs> I hear you there, girl. Shut the fuck up and just look handsome. Sit down, shut up and look handsome, damn it. That's all I want to hear from you. Just that, just nothing. I'm sorry, what are you? But yeah, I, yeah, Nick is cute. I really appreciated his honesty and vulnerability. Okay, so fifth, we have West. LG. At no. seven points. Seven is crazy. In fourth, we have Kai. Yeah, I told you. I told you. What? Kai, you had 13 points. Ooh, love it. In third, Nick. No way. Good job, man. At 15 points. Second, Jack. At 16 points. Like mama, we made it. Thank God. And in first, Andros at 24 points. Whoa. What? That's a lot. Uh, You'd be that, my top one too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so bad for blue shirt guy i don't know why i just feel so bad for him Ugh. actually like i think it's crazy that he got voted last why because he cried or something i don't know like he was voted one like the two guys that were like number one and number two ended up becoming number four and five now i mean what i'm happy for nick that he made it made it up higher because that sucked for Nick to be number five earlier. I'm, I'm just surprised about Jack. I mean, Jack is funny, so that's why he won, got higher up on the ranks. But Jack is friend vibes to me. <laughs> what? He was tattooed, he everything. No, why, but okay, thank you. That's very <laughs> kind, like, yeah. Literally, it's pro like, I think the big, one of the biggest reasons, and also you guys, okay. 
I know how people are always like, oh, I can't get girls because I'm not tall and girls only like to date tall guys. Well, guess the fuck what? The top two guys are the shortest guys. And then this other guy that was, you know, like one of the top guys until now, he's also very short. You see these two tall guys? They're in the middle and this tall guy is almost last. Okay? You don't need to be tall to get pussy. These short guys are getting pussy. Anyways. Yeah. Okay, physical appearance versus final rank. How's everyone feeling? Uh, I feel fine. I feel, <laughs> I feel better. I'm feeling good. Better. Just feeling good. The mid white guy made it to the middle. I'm <laughs> I love him. Um, Shane, we're going to have to watch this next, too. Not today, though. I think we should put All right. And that was ranking men by attractiveness. Are you guys surprised by who I found attractive and who I found not attractive. Are you guys surprised by my taste in men? I don't know. I I feel like I have a good taste in men. I don't know. I have. I feel like I have an interesting taste in men. I always like the weird guys. Or like, I don't know. But anyways, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment. Maybe comment something like, damn, Pinky, why do you like such weird men? Or something, I don't know. Comment something cool. I don't know. Maybe tell me your opinion on who you think the most attractive person on that lineup was. Who is the most attractive guy in your opinion? All right. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. Blah, 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 blah.